Hey guys, day 11 of 41 drops of honey. And back on day two, we talked about our community, the swarm and how incredible they are. And one of the things that makes this project so fun is that we're not just building for the swarm, we're literally building with the swarm. You see, we listen to the swarm in everything that we do to really help build a project far greater than anything that we could do on our own. Back on November 2nd, we launched the alpha version of our game and our swarm started playing. And for four months, our swarm and our community has been playing our game and they've been providing feedback, not only pointing out bugs and errors and things that we need to fix, but ways that we can improve the game. Um, things that we could do to improve the UI or the UX or make the game more fun or make it easier to understand or tools that they'd like to see or feature requests. And as we continue to build and get closer to the public launch, we see the fingerprints of those suggestions in our community all over the development of this game. And when we launch public, this is not a game that we thought of, it's a game that we've all built together. We right now are getting ready to launch a tool called The Hive Mind. And uh, this could, should come out within the next week. It'll be our staking platform and so much more. And we have 10 community members right now that have a private alpha that are testing it. They're trying to break it. They're giving us bug uh, feature requests, telling us how we can make this better so that in the week before we get to launch, we can actually do something that's been done with and by and for the community. When we got when we launched our cosmetic collection for the bees, we had like hundreds of traits and we needed to narrow it down to the best ones. And so we literally allowed a hundred people to come in and rank all of our traits, one through 10. Each, uh, each people got a different set of traits that they could come in and rank. And we literally used that to make decisions on which traits we would keep, which ones we could make better, and which ones we would kill for the collection. We recently launched kind of some ideas and announcements about the XP and the VIP points for the game. And some people pushed back and said, hey, you know, I, I feel like this is unfair for some of us. And we literally re-hit the drawing board and created an entirely better modified and updated system for XP heading into the game that was a little bit more fair for some of our existing holders who want to be able to play with more bees as they walk into the game. Guys, we are not just building this project for our community. We're building it with our community. It's one of the things that makes this such an incredible project in Web3.